Hey guys. Hello. Um, so, Blake Bliss, you know, he's not doing the best right now. He's posted a few videos in the last 24 hours. Mainly rants. Um, but I was watching some of his other videos today, and he is one of the only people on this earth that can bring me to tears in less than two minutes. And he did it all three times in all three videos I watched. For one, watching him cry makes me want to just give him a hug and tell him to just shut up because it's all going to go away. You know. Uh, but he has a point. I mean, with everything he says. And I, I felt like writing a letter and reading it out loud in case, you know, I mean, they may see it, they may not. But to all of the people who make my life what it is that aren't directly involved in my life. This is for you guys. And play some background music. Speaking of Blake Bliss, um, play his. Play this on my iPod right here. Yeah, do 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 do. All right. To whoever's watching this, my name is Jalen. My friends call me Jay. I had a moment today where I realized even with all the world's problems, how grateful I am to be who I am. And I'm going to tell you why. Two black bell brides. At first, I thought finding fallen angels was an accident. Now, I think of it as a twist of fate. I was randomly searching on YouTube and I happened to type in fallen angels and the video came up. You may be just five guys in a band, but you mean the world to me. When I found you guys, I was just starting to come out of my shell. I was having a hard time relating to people, because I was very aware of how different I was. Even from my high school group of friends, I was an outcast. I didn't truly get into BBB until Wretched and Divine was released. Something inside me told me to pre-order it, so I did. I spent, once it got to my house, I spent the next three days listening to nothing but that. Um... It was like I was suddenly thrown a lifeline, and I continue to hold on even now. You were the first people who helped me see who I really was, and let me shine through. When I watched Legion of the Black, I ended up making a bunch of friends who I still talk to daily. You know, I can't wait to see you for the second time in a year, in the bullet for my valentine, on Thursday. You gave me back my love of music. You brought back my dreams. You helped me finally be me. And for that, I will always be grateful. To the Relapse Symphony. You guys are fucking amazing. I actually found out about you through concert weirdos doing the interview with you. My favorite part was when you guys were wearing the weirdo crown. My mom was watching it and I sat down with her instead of, instead of doing the dishes. Um, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. I was so excited when I found out I would be getting a phone call from you for buying your t-shirt. Then when I did, I slept right through it. I woke up, listened to the message, and screamed in, in a mixture of joy and sadness. To make sure I wouldn't lose it, I saved the voicemail. To this day, I still resave it whenever I need to so that I can hear it if I want. I'm only a year older than you, Brett, and yet I feel like you're the older one. Uh, you guys know a hell of a lot more about the world than I do. But you guys, along with BBB, inspired me to do two things. You inspired my writing, and still do, and you caused me to dive even further into my love of music. So thank you, boys. December will be here soon. To BOTDF. At first, I didn't like you from what other people were saying. Then, when I was bored one day, I gave you a second chance. I heard Don't Want to Be Like You and realized it was my anthem for everyday life. Then, I heard Bewitched. I couldn't stop hitting replay on the video. Something about you kept me listening. Whether it was your presence or your message or just everything put together, I kept listening. Then came the haters. Rather than just reacting, like I used to, I did my research. So now, when someone does try and come at me and try and hate on you, I either ignore them or I defend with logic. You guys just have such a stage presence, it's unreal. You're my third favorite band, it's not easy to constantly stay there. So Davi Vannery and Javon Monroe, thank you. And I'll see you in December in Seattle. Ronnie Radke, thank you for showing me that it is possible to turn your life around and not care what people think of you. They'll judge you anyway, you just have to keep smiling. Kellen Quinn, the Sleeping With Sirens. Thank you for showing me how you can be both a great musician and a caring father. 
and how even if you people say you sound like a girl, it still sounds better than any girl I've ever heard. Vic Fuentes from Pierce the Veil. Thank you for showing my friends and I that it's possible to pull yourself out of the darkness and not fall back in. Um, I have friends who are very grateful to you and others like you, so thank you. Lizzie Hale, thank you for showing me girls can be just as kick-ass as guys in the music industry, and sometimes be even better. Andy, Indigo, Kaz, Nikki, and Lynx, thank you for showing me how badass music from a country all the way across the globe can be, and how the people making it can make a difference without even trying. I mean, you guys are amazing, and you're funny, and I seriously think if I lived over there, we'd be buddies, just because you're hilarious, and you even if you've never met me, would probably understand me like that. To Blake Bliss, for being one of the most soft-spoken, caring people I know on the internet, and being able to bring me to tears every time I hear you speak. I've said it many times and continue to do so. If there are angels among us, you are one. I, I would swear it on my life. There's something about you that just you don't find anywhere else. And... I don't know how else to comprehend it except to sit there and cry and wish I could hug you because you bring out emotions in me that I usually shut away. To Onision, PewDiePie, and Dambo on YouTube, thank you for making sure I was able to laugh and all I wanted to do was cry and ignore the world with your stupid jokes and your really weird reactions that make me laugh. To Anthony Padilla and Ian Hecox from Smosh. Thank you for being one of my favorite YouTube channels to ever subscribe to, and making me laugh so hard that I can't breathe. I hope you enjoyed the package you got in December and opened in April. Um, and to all the people I've known, or the haters, thank you. You've shown me exactly who I don't want to be in life. And to my friends, thank you for putting up with my craziness all the time. I truly value each and every one of you, and when I tell you that you are truly a part of my life, and it would kill me to lose you, I am not lying. You mean, you, everyone, whether it's a band or a band member or a friend or a family member or someone I know across the world, you guys mean the world to me. And I would never be the same without you. So, to put this simply, thank you. And to anyone who's watching this, I love you. You know, people may say they can't love you if they don't know you. I don't fully believe that. I do love you. And I care. So... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.